Hello and welcome to Religious Studies at Chichester College. My name is David Olive, and I have a question for you. Why is there something rather than nothing? In Religious Studies, we consider what is arguably the single most important question for human existence. Why is there something rather than nothing? We consider this question through our module on the philosophy of religion, but it is also the fundamental question at the heart of our other modules, religious ethics and Christianity. It is the question which lies at the heart of all religion. Surely it is also the fundamental unanswered question which runs through all our efforts to find the truth. In our ethical and moral life, if we can find some response to the question, why are we here? It will surely help us answer the question, what should we do? And what kind of people should we try to be? If our answer to the question includes God, then spirituality, if not religion, must surely demand our attention. But the question, why is there something rather than nothing? This is a bigger question even than that. It is a scientific question, which some feel is answered by the Big Bang Theory. It is a question for history, as we try to discover how we got here. It is a question for all artistic endeavour, as we explore what it means to be human. In fact, the most surprising aspect of this question is that it is not asked more often or taken seriously by more people. Just why is there something rather than nothing? To put it another way, how did it all start and what or who started it? I want you to think about your heartbeat. For a few moments, think about the regular rhythm of your heart routinely pumping blood around your body, hopefully without interruption even before you were born. Your first tiny heartbeat started when you were no bigger than an apple seed, just five weeks old in the womb. That unbroken heartbeat is part of a bigger chain of movement, all things in life constantly in motion. You could trace the unbroken chain of motion, which is your heartbeat, all the way back through generation after generation, through life as it evolved on Earth, right back to the moment that microbial life first began. Everything is in motion. The Earth, the Moon, the planets, even the stars are in motion. Galaxies are drawn towards each other, while the expansion of the universe means that everything is also moving away from each other. Now motion seems to be a chain of events. Anything that is now in motion has been set in motion by something else, which was itself set in motion by something else, and so on, and so on, until, well, until what? If everything which is in motion was set in motion by something else, what was it that set the very first thing in motion? There seems to be a need for a first cause or unmoved mover, something which moved something without having first been moved itself. You might answer that the Big Bang set everything in motion 13.7 billion years ago, but this leaves the question, but what started the Big Bang? You might answer that God created everything and set it all in motion, but this leaves the question, but what created God? A 13th century monk named St Thomas Aquinas took the view that the chain of cause and effect, which is motion in the universe, is evidence for a first cause or prime mover, which is God. To arrive at this conclusion, Aquinas had to reject the possibility of what we call infinite regress. This is the idea that there is no beginning at all, just an infinite series of cause and effect, which means motion and everything just is and always has been. There is no starting point and no unmoved or prime mover. So, why is there something rather than nothing? There are no entirely satisfying answers. Philosophy is like that. Beautiful questions and answers that seem right, even when you struggle to say why. Welcome to the realm of the most important questions of life and the joy of a puzzle no one has ever quite solved. Thanks for listening. <laughs>